Hello and welcome back to Cardboard Decoy Plays Magicite. I said I was going to get rid of everything, but just so that we're clear on what this does. Hold on. Buy it. Buy it. Why aren't you buying things? Um, what are you buying, stranger? I want to buy this cookie. I have money. Yeah, I could buy the diamondite. Oh, is it because I already had one? Yeah, I started with... That's a total biscuit. And uh, with that, you basically... Uh, Oh, I have two diamond bars now. I can go ahead and make a pick with that. Skip everything. Make diamond eye pick. Profit. Excellent. Um, so I guess maybe you can only consume one cookie per game. And I started out with the cookie slash total biscuit uh, whenever I started as one of my random items. So now I can't get it. I'm going to assume that's what it was. I mean, I was banging away at the up button there. So it wasn't letting me do it. That's the only explanation I can assume. So, okay. We'll sell our iron eye pick. There we go. And this has like, yeah, 250 durability. That's totally fine. All right, cool. So now we're in the Velt. Uh, Tree Knight Velt. Cool, sure, whatever. And we'll kill these sheep with our axe here so we don't waste resources unnecessarily. Now we are going to... These guys scare the shit out of me. Okay. And there we go. They take two hits. I'm very tempted to just kill them with a bow. All right. We can... Kill these guys with a bow, for sure. And kill the wizard with a bow. Okay. We got an HP potion. Okay. You're alive. <laughs> okay. That's fine. We made it through that. Alright, I am going to mine Iron Knight and, uh, you know, basically, whatever. Don't care, because uh, we can get my Iron Knight arrows, and uh, I won't worry too much about the durability of my pickaxe. Especially since it is a diamondite pickaxe and kind of built to last, so. Um, and there we go. Although, yeah, there's special resources involved in the final boss fight that require a diamondite pick, and we'll just kind of hope for the best on that one, basically, so. Alright, and here we go. We'll use the bow on the jellyfish. And it takes three shots, just need to remember that. Their projectiles go through shit, so that's not entirely the best situation. Mmm, we're out of arrows, and I want to kill this guy for sure. Okay. Ah, alright. That was a little tense, but I made it. Alright. I have, like, a very distinct warm-up phase for this game, so... And I haven't quite uh, figured out or adjusted to how that actually works. Especially since I tend to... Most of my Let's Play games, I, I have pretty long breaks in between playing, because it's like, why... Unless it's something like Factorio, which... Uh, I don't play as much in my free time anymore, but for a while there, it's like the only game I played, and so... But I don't usually, like, double-time the games that often. Uh, so, and that probably wouldn't be a bad thing, except I want to capture a lot of my achievements on film, and... Well, I just don't play them that often, and uh, let the videos catch up, and all that other fun stuff, and the, the little habits that maybe I need to change or think about. You can die from a distance. Spooky action at a distance. There we go. Okay, grab all of that stuff. That seems like a really good dex area, to be honest. Yeah, we got a lot of potions. I can definitely confirm that this is Potion Town. So, yeah, this is still kind of learning the game and how to prioritize different areas. But definitely at an advantage with dex in this place. Oh, we managed to double kill with one arrow. That's super excellent. I'm okay with this happening. And we managed to double kill there with a pickaxe, sort of. Uh, probably took away two durability just the same. So, whether or not that was a great thing is... Oh, out of arrows. Okay, so we have, uh, the iron armor and that. So we can start... You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and make an iron axe really quick. So we have that taken care of. For what it's worth. Okay. Iron... or stone axe, I should say. I think I just said iron axe, which is incorrect. And then we'll make a whole bunch of stone arrows. There we go, 35. That should last us quite some time. Okay, so he's dead. That's convenient. And we're gonna mine these rocks. Kill these guys from a distance. I love those expressions, the mmm, I'm gruff. Oh, I'm fierce. It's good stuff. Let's go ahead and mine that. He should de-aggro from this range. Okay. Our dex build's broken. Maybe a little bit. They're a little bit of a beginner class, if you ask me. If you can uh, make a really good dex build right off the gate, then uh, go for it. Especially while you're still kind of learning the game. So, 
or you just want to see the content kind of like I do. So I don't feel guilty about it. And uh, again, I think there's a lot coming down the tubes for this game in the future. And uh, I'm at the point where I'm, I'm ready to put down the game uh, out of respect for it actually getting finished. This is still early access after all. And even though it's like all games right now are freaking early access, it seems, I there's definitely a large number of them where I just get to the point where I'm like, I need to put this down and wait until it's actually done before I just totally ruin it for myself. And then once it is actually compl uh, completed, then I like won't want to play it. Dungeon. I'm feeling a little brave. They, they tweaked the dungeon a little bit, so it's not quite so bullshit insane hard. So there we go. We're at full health. That's convenient. So let's try it with a dex character. I feel okay with trying it. Alright, cool. So we took one damage. I should have waited on that health until I went through that. I didn't think about that very clearly. Okay, we've got a lot of tools. We've got a diamondite sword we can't afford. We do have a gold sword I probably could afford after selling some of this stuff. But let's focus on what we need to do for gear. We don't have enough gold to make all of our gear that we want. Or the gear that we would want. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. We can go ahead and make bone arrows since we already have one taking up a slot there. Stone is pretty much... Well, we can make one fire starter. Alright. Oh, wait. Wrong button. There we go. R. I don't know why I moved across the screen either, but, you know, whatever. Alright. And then... Oh my god. Okay, wrong buttons all across the board. And there we go. Cooked meat. Cooked meat. Cook it quickly. Quickly cook the meat. It is cooked. Yes, very good. Okay, cool. And then we'll punch the fire for no reason. Uh, yeah, we just need 15 to get that gold sword. I think I'm going to go for that. Uh, so... Hmm. 15 iron arrows, 11 bone arrows. I'm wondering if I should preempt some iron arrows. That might not be a bad idea, since we're good on everything else, mostly. So, let's go ahead and sell some stuff. We can sell the coal. We can sell the... Let's go ahead and make one more set of stone arrows, and that'll last us just a little bit longer. And then we'll start making iron arrows um, full time. So there we go. We'll go ahead and sell that. That's fine. And we'll hold on to those two just to get us started until we feel like it's a little bit more necessary. This is this is what seems like a good idea to me at least. Okay. And then hold on to that. Oh wait. Buttons. Correct buttons. There we go. Okay, so that's that's iron arrows. Iron arrows look a lot like bone arrows. Let's try not to get those too confused. Okay. Uh, oh, and gold sword. We have exactly enough for a gold sword. And we'll sell our stone sword. There we go. Alright, we're about as equipped as we're going to be for the dungeon, if ever. So let's give it a shot. We're at almost full health. And we took one damage. Okay, already entirely spooky shit that I don't want to deal with. We got a Minotaur, we got a, a Dijini. Alright. And they take a million hits. So, yes, if we were going to explore this thoroughly, or more thoroughly, I think a Dex character is pretty much the only way to go on that. And, okay. Might not even need to jump for this, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Well, we're gonna burn through our arrows really quick, so that's fine. Oh, okay, he's dead. Kind of wasted an arrow there, but that's fine. Alright, yes, already there is not a million ball and chains, so that's good. That's a drastic improvement on how this level was before. Okay, and yes, we are just going to kill everything from a distance. And actually, I kind of want to see what this guy's... Okay, he runs like uh, the boars with a much lower cooldown time, and there's apparently a ton of Gijins up there. No good. No good at all. Okay, he's still attacking me. Where is he attacking me from is the really important question here. <sighs> okay, I should have actually dodged that. Oh my god, everything does so much damage. This was a terrible idea. Okay, let's just kill you. And we'll eat a bunch of food. Or exactly one food and get no health for it. Okay, it would be a lot. Maybe they should tone down the damage a little. I mean, not to, I don't want to sound like a big pussy or anything like that, but could we not have everything do like 12 damage in the dungeon? Just a teensy bit. I don't know what the actual benefits to this place are, but okay. That did not draw his ire, so we got lucky there. 
We're gonna have to start moving through this place a little bit faster, though. This could this could be bad trouble for us in the in the long run here. Give me that herb, thank you. All right, where are we at on our potion situation? Okay, we got stone and coal. We're gonna drop that for a second while we do big HP potion and drink the shit out of that. Okay, Put the food back up, and then just playing it cool. That's all we're doing here. Okay, they do get moved around by the ball and chain, so good info. All right, you need to bounce back further so I can grab my experience. All right, we're not even gonna go down there. This is absolutely terrifying. Okay, we are out of arrows. So, is it time for iron arrows? Yeah, it's always time for iron arrows. Okay. Now yeah, that's a mimic. Good thing we were firing arrows in that direction anyways. Four. One. Okay, we one-shot those guys with arrows. Good to know. Okay, somebody firing arrows at us now. That's that guy. His can actually go through the floor, so that's a little bit of a dangerous thing. You shouldn't be doing that indoors. Okay, we're just moving along now. I don't like this. Okay, well, you know, dodging is good. And we're gonna shoot all of these guys. I gotta say, I mean, the, the item intake's pretty decent so far. So let's just kill you like so. Takes more than one hit to kill the skeleton dudes with the swords at least. All right. I don't know if those things despawned or we picked them up. I'm gonna go ahead and guess that they despawned. Okay. Okay. Oh my goodness. This is definitely... This is definitely challenging me. <laughs> oh my god, I'm terrified. This is so bad. This is such a poor choice. Okay, okay, hold on. Thinking about this calmly, or as calmly as I can. We did not pick up some of the good stuff that was down there. What do we got? We got, okay, some sort of red ring. Mysterious potion. No, this is like the worst time for you to be here. Okay, 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 here we go. Cooked meat. Eat cooked meat. Eat cooked... Okay. All right. We have no arrows currently usable. Okay. Okay, good thing we were able to one-shot him. Okay, now we're just sort of running. That's, yeah, that's the current tactic. This is the meta for the dungeon, is run. Except for in this situation where there's diamondite. Okay, that's a great diamondite blade. Ring of rage. We got a bunch of attack and less hit points. We don't need that. All right, great diamondite blade, and then we don't care about the blue bug. Oh, horrifying stuff. Diamondite ore. How are we doing on diamondite ore? Pretty decent. We're just didn't I have a diamondite bar, or was that a separate playthrough? Okay, screw that. Don't care. Screw you. Don't care. Okay, scourge of invaded. Get out. We're gonna drink potions and run. That's the plan. All right. Dungeon is semi-traumatizing. Okay, we got some more ore, so that's good. Oh, we used the we used the bar. That's fine. Okay. All right, we still want to get the ore. I'm not even going to mess with the chest because I'm going to just see something that I wish I had not missed out on and be super sad for the rest of my days. And we don't want that. There's so many chests there. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, we're going to the vault. Oh... That was more excitement than I bargained for. <laughs> we don't have enough diamondite to make any gear. Oh my god, please have some for sale. Do we have one? No, just axes, okay. Okay, all right, we have an emerald katana. That's attack 11 versus attack 15. We'll hold on to that. That's HP plus two. It's only gonna work while we equip it though, I imagine. Let me double check this to make sure. All right, yeah, so we lose two hit points if we unequip it. So yeah, screw that, don't want that. Uh, let's see, we have a Diamondite Great Blade. That's pretty okay. Whew, hold on, I've gotta take a second. Oh, that was insanity. How's our pick's durability is fine. We have an extra Goldium Blade, so we can make a small Goldium Sword if we want to. Hmm, I'm debating. Okay, well, we have enough Goldium to make some gear, so let's go ahead and make some leather gear. How are we at on time? We got, like, six more minutes? Yeah, we'll do one more level, so I won't make you sit through this if I wasn't gonna at least give you some decent content afterwards. Okay, 
So, Goldium Bar. Let's do one, two, three. No. No, no. We want leather gear. Play cool. Alright. What else can we sell? We can sell the stone. Let's sell the stone. Uh, we want one, two, three. Okay. And if we finish this little train of thought, that'll open up some more inventory. And one, two, three. There we go. And talk to this bro. Sell that. Cool stuff. Great diamondite blade. Might as well make a weapon with it, just to make sure we know what we're doing with it there. Diamondite great axe, plus 48. Pretty cool stuff. Goldium sword. Yeah, it's got the exact same swing speed, so... Um, what can we make arrow-wise? We can't make a lot of arrows right now. Fortunately, that was a huge drain on our res... Unfortunately, that was a huge drain on our resources, so... Okay. This will be an interesting recovery period for us, basically, coming up here. Uh, iron blade. We'll make an iron axe with to get that out of our inventory. Okay. And, okay. I did... No, I did not sell it. Sell that. Thanks. Um, uh, we have some raw meat. We'll sell that. Uh, raw shark. Raw shark. What does he mean, raw shark? It's a cool reference. If you know what I'm talking about, then awesome. But, uh, you can look it up otherwise. And then feel left out. Let's see. Hmm. Let's go ahead and eat. Did not get hit points. Please. Oh my god, just give me the freaking hit points. It's so hard, Tiki Mask. Why are you so useless? I really want to know. Okay, no, stop it. There we go. Okay, and you know what? We'll take on we'll take on Fierce Bro. Melee wise. Okay, we got Reach on him. So, in an effort to not completely run out of arrows on this particular floor, district, whatever it is. All right, cool. Well, we took some dumb damage. That's pretty much. If I was a psychic, I would have just been laughed at if I had tried to make that prediction. Hey, we're going to take damage on this floor uh, from trying to use a freaking diamondite great axe. Yeah, okay. What else is new? Alright, we will use arrows to kill those slimes and the mage guys. Oh, hey, monster bones. That's right, we can farm up the sheep for some bone arrows. Hopefully. Ideally, in a perfect world. And we'll get plenty of hit points from here as well, so... Decent recovery area. Uh, let's go ahead and try to take this guy on, because there's only one of them. Okay, ah, we took damage. Okay. Just gotta get a little bit better at that timing there. Okay. And... If I'm farming up Diamondite, we're gonna be able to make a Diamondite helm. So, as long as we have the... Yeah, we've got the leather for it. We're good. Alright, I hate these guys so much. Why do you suck? Why do you suck? How can you suck? That sounded really suggestive. But uh, it was supposed to be sort of a pseudo-reference to something, so... That's what I get for trying to be funny. Alright. Uh, okay. You. I fight you with chicken legs. Yeah. Punched you to death. Not bad. And... I hate hoppy guys. Okay. Good thing he died. And we'll kill you with meat. So we don't damage our weapons. That's probably the best idea. Okay. Now these, I'm going to take a little bit of a chance on. Okay. Be predictable. I hate you. Alright. Okay. Alright. Cool. Managing targets with those around is usually really difficult because you've got other people coming at you from different angles. But I'm getting a little bit better at... Well, how I'm supposed to handle them, at least one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, alright. And you basically have to gamble what position you think they're going to be in later, so... And that's... that's not my favorite way... tactic to employ, but... sometimes that's pretty much all you can do. Okay, I have... I have quite a bit of bone, actually. We can drop the monster pelt. I'm gonna make some arrows really quick. Alright. Alright. Okay, there we go. Just give me the experience. Give me the experience, we'll all be okay. I'll go back to killing these sheep. Pink sheep! Yep, alright, cool. Free money and experience I'll take. 
and that'll give us oh hey we got fierce bro mm. okay I have reach on you so sorry okay Ooh. all right tensions running high I I I have finally, I think I'm about as warmed up as I'm going to be, so everything's going to be as tense as it currently is at this particular juncture. Alright, where's that exit? I'm getting a little nervous. Okay, we got a lot of wizards. Wizard mushrooms. Oh my god. Oh, oh so close. So close to actually being good at this game sometimes. And, alright, cool. All of those guys are dead. Actual threats, dead. Okay, there's another wizard over here. And a lot of minerals. All of which we want. Alright. Okay, he's dead. He gave us some bones. Cool. You ever said, throw me a freaking bone? Some people will actually deliver in this game. So, let's go ahead and eat. Aerial eating. That's pretty awesome. Are there videos of people skydiving while eating lunch? I don't know why, but something like that would amuse me greatly. Just sort of, you know, eating sushi or something. Have a little table that folds out in the middle of the air. And then, uh, I, I like the idea of really mundane actions juxtaposed with otherwise non-mundane actions like that. Uh, so, okay. Wood, meat, and bone. All good stuff. When did I use magic? I just recovered a mana. And that wasn't... I'm a little confused. Do I have something that uses magic whenever I use it? Not really? Okay. All right, freaking bow and arrow solution there is freaking magic. I'll tell you what. All right, let's just continue on. Okay, we're at the door, so that's fine. Monster bone, monster pelts. Okay, we've got an option between caves and vilt. I don't know if caves actually does anything for us, but we are decks. We could farm brood mothers if we really want, so we'll do it for potential experience gain here. And. Okay, so, yes, this is the end of this episode. I'll do like I did before and uh, do all of my item management in between episodes here. And uh, when we come back, we'll continue on with our run and things will be good. So, uh, yeah, this has been Cardboard Decoy playing a really freaking tense game of uh, Magicite. And if you enjoyed, please like, comment, and subscribe. And then I will see you next time. Have fun.